Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Nerd News. I'm sitting here in the kitchen letting my girlfriend's tea steep before I bring it to her and I don't re- it's a kind of a snow slow slow news day. It's been a slow news weekend as far as games concerned. I've kind of been um, out of it for a little bit, but that's okay. But today I want to talk to you about creature capture game, creature fighter games. These are the this is the genre that Pokemon pioneered and that Pokemon still dominates to this day and many of you are Pokemon fans and who have kept up with our coverage of Power World are aware that People are relatively unsatisfied to a certain extent with Pokemon as an IP, and today I wanted to offer three separate games in the creature capture fighter genre that I think all of you would probably enjoy. Pow World is a pretty good example of one that that uh, definitely is a, a good to go. Um, it, it, it is less on the creature fighting and more of the creatures um, cohabitating. And using the creatures for your benefit, it is it takes Ark Survival Evolved and a explorable, v- vibrant world like Breath of the Wild, matches them together and replaces the dinosaurs with Pokemon-esque looking types of things that are intellectually distinct. Another game that I would recommend for you guys is Temtem. Temtem is a is a more traditional version of the closer to mechanically to what Pokemon is, but is a much more difficult game off rip. It is definitely for older players, older people, and is has a vibrant and live community. It is a it is also relatively ish a life service in the sense that it has receives constant updates and an expanding world and allows you to play with people in real time. It is a multiplayer game at its core. While Power World can be a multiplayer game, it is perfectly playable in single player and you never have to speak to another soul playing it, which is can be quite nice. The last one I want to talk about is Dragon Quest Monsters the Dark Prince. The Dragon Quest Monster series has always been a wonderful alternative to the Pokemon franchise for many different reasons, starting with Dragon Quest Monsters Joker and the DS era, which is one of the best games on the DS, Nintendo DS Lite. Do not quote me on do you can quote me on that. But I digress. Uh, the, the latest entry in the series, Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince, I did not think we were going to be getting another <laughs> Dragon Quest Monsters game. In the West, they have sold notoriously poorly here. So poorly, in fact, that Dragon Quest Monsters Joker 3 and Dragon Quest Monsters Professional, Jokers 2 Professional, and Jokers 3 Professional, which are all harder versions of the game that require much more grinding of much more thought of your teams and much in, in engaging with the breeding synthesis and capture systems in a much deeper fundamental way than just railroading your way through the game are not translated in, into English and are not available in the West. But Dragon Quest Monsters of Dark Prince is a lovely affair that I will be putting out a full review this week. And you can catch here on, at, on wherever you get your pods on on the podcast i can't shut up unless you tell me to which is which is also by me here at high media tv or you can listen to it on um youtube at uh, youtube.com slash hi media tv bonus round there is one more that i want to share with you guys and this is called cassette beast i have not played it myself but many people whose opinions i do respect and many people who do enjoy these future fighters significantly more than me if you can believe it suggest it themselves so i suggest it to you my hum as a, as a humble spokesman into us into a mic my listeners Thank you so very much for listening, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you, your time, and your listenership, and I will see you guys next time.